All right, guys, welcome to episode 68 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, low key. Got John here with me, got Remy in the yo, back, yo. got Aubrey back there somewhere snoozing. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Thumbs Go down up. in the description, get yourself some merch if you're rocking. And if not, you know what I'm saying? Just liking the video and sharing it with a friend to help out. So Subscribe. Make yeah, sure y'all subscribe, man. Hit that bell button. We're back with another one, man. For sure, for sure. How you feeling today, Johnny Bull? Shit, we're cooling. Cooling, man. It's been fucking chilly out, man. It's kind of chilly. Yeah, bro. It's, the, it's It's been the coldest winter since 2001. Damn. Wow. Bro, Look shit. at that. I didn't... You learn something fucking new every day. I didn't fucking know that. It's fucking yes, crazy. Sir. I heard it fucking snowed like in Florida back in the seventies or some shit like that. It's Miami, snowed, yeah, it snowed up in like uh, Jacksonville. I think it was. That's crazy. It, it I would was, never imagine that. It wasn't like a lot of snow, but I think the snow like actually hit the ground and stayed for a second and then like disappeared. Wow. But yeah, man, yeah. it's fucking fuck that. I don't pissed. like the cold, bro. That's why I'm, we live I'm gonna down keep here. it real. Yeah, I live in Florida for a reason, man. I don't like the cold. I always tell the story. Went up, went up north during the winter one time. Got hit by a blizzard. Said never again. That Jesus, was, sort of guy. That was my. Oh learning. yeah, that was one. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. When I went to Jersey, bro. Never again. Jersey, 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 Jersey. Jersey if you like the fucking Jersey Shore. I don't know, bro. But that's how they <laughs> fucking talk, bro. That's nah, how they fucking real. talk. Nah, I used to watch that show, fucking Jersey Shore, bro. I used to be, I used yeah, to want to be just it, like them. At high school, like yeah. when you're a fucking idiot, you think that those guys were the shit, you know? Like, yeah, well, they weren't. And then you grow up and you're like, you know what? These guys are fucking losers. Yeah, they were, they were. But you know what? Some of them became, you know, successful. Nah, you honestly, know what I mean? bro, talking, you know, all bullshit aside, I fuck with Pauly D. Bro. No, he not had, Pauly D. He yeah, actually yeah, did his thing. One, He's yeah. a real DJ. He goes to clubs and, you know, he yeah. has a real career and that helped it. You know what I'm saying? Like, people know who Paul E.D. is. Yeah. He's a, but he's like a real DJ. No, no, no. He's legit. Yeah, it's kind of like, it's not our type of music, but he's like. No, no, yeah. it's like house music yeah. type shit. But yeah, but still though. Fuck it. Hey, shout out to, you know, Paul, Paul E.D. Shout out to the whole Jersey Shore yeah, cast, Yeah, Snooki, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, at the end of the day, you grow to love him. Like, you, you grew to love him because yeah. you just watched him every fucking week. He did, you and that was saying? like real. That was like some real shit, bro. Like yeah, they went like, out there, just wanted to fuck bitches, and they just yeah. wanted to fucking get cougars or whatever they wanted. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Facts. They were just out there. Facts, bro. But yeah, bro. Let me ask you something, man. My favorite, you know, what I'm saying microwavable snack will probably have to be the little fucking, you know, breakfast bowl shits. You just put them in the microwave for a couple minutes. Bing bow. You know what I mean? It yeah. comes out. You ready to go? You know what I'm saying? Those are nice. Those are nice. Yeah, I mean, it's some nice shit. It's not bad. Uh, I don't know, man. What, what I like, man, to be honest with you, bro, I like me the fucking... <laughs> I like me a fucking meat lovers. A meat lover. <laughs> the meat <laughs> lovers, bro. What the fuck are you the, talking about? The, right? meat, the meat lovers, bro. Nah, the meat lovers fucking, fucking you with the eggs. <laughs> Meat lovers, bro. You ever had a fucking meat lover, huh? You ever had a fucking meat lover, Ricky? Oh, I've met a few meat lovers. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what, fuck out of here, bro. This guy's a nasty fuck, I'll tell you that. I'll slap him with a meat, you fucking piece. You ever had an Italian sausage? Huh? I'll show her you a ever had a... I'll show her a Spanish sausage. Nah, I gave her the Italian sauce. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll put it in there. So oh, man, now I don't give a fuck yeah. who you are, bro. After a certain age, if you don't have a dirty mind, you're not an adult. Nah, for real, real I'm shit, fucking tired bro. of these people. Nine out of ten adults' minds are in the fucking gutter. All the fucking like time. you go to tell a joke, they're already thinking it's gonna be sexual. Yeah, <laughs> I, for real. <laughs> and then so people, he fucked up. He didn't fuck up. No, oh, the story's trash. And, you know what I'm saying? Like that's how people are. Bro. Nah, there's a lot of fucking these comedies, bro. These uh comedians bro they're fucking sitting out there and they're g giving out sexual jokes but later down the line we find out these motherfuckers really did that shit yeah but, uh, they're like really fucking like <laughs> my last kids raping and bitches shit. and shit yeah i forgot I which like, comedian it was you know who i'm talking about he was famous man he was fucking he's some white guy but he he's an alcoholic apparently in real life and fucking he like molested people and shit oh like, my god i was like wow this guy was fucking joking about it, and this, and people are laughing with him and shit, but he really nah. fucking did it. Well, that, I mean, comedians talk about their life, you know? They pull from their own life and their experiences to, to talk about shit, make jokes. So, like, 
That makes sense. Yeah. But don't be a piece of shit, man. Don't be out here molesting people. No is no. No means no, guys. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't care how bad she is and how she's dressed. Facts. No means no. Nah, facts. That's Straight so true. Up. But another thing I wanted to get into, man, you know, I've had I've had a couple different types of pets, you know what I'm saying, growing up. Uh I had cats, you know, normal shit. I had a turtle. I had a turtle one time. He was fucking cool. You know, Damn. I like turtle. Yeah, turtle. I had a turtle. I had, Martin. Uh, my sister has a rabbit. Shout out to my sister. His name is Rupert. You know what I'm saying? Rupert. Hey, Rupert. Yo, my <laughs> nigga Rupert. Yo. Rupert, you know what I'm saying? Yo, so, you fuck Rupert. Sounds nah, like, oh, beat you. I'll be vibing, though. Nah, be vibing. Rupert. But it's like, we, we've had different types of pets, but. You know, at the end of the day, bro, you got to call a spade a spade, dog. And I feel like dogs are the best pets to have. And dog owners are the best pet owners. Period. I can't fuck with these cat fucking people, bro. I, I, I know I a man it. and I got love for him, but it's like, fuck, man. Nah, a cat ain't the same, bro. Nah, the cat is you just know? boring. And I like cats, you know, for what a cat is because cats are hunting machines. You yes. know, that's, you know, they're built great, you know, to hunt and whatever. They're, that's cool. But, bitch, when I tell my animal to come here, I want it to come here. Yeah, and it's like it only wants like, loving when you, like, don't want loving. I swear to God. Like, it'll be, like, facts. times, like, I don't even like want to be touched. Facts. Like, you're lonely. You're trying to pet this motherfucker. The yeah. bitch fucking goes to the other side of the house. But when you're trying to sleep, it's four in the morning. The bitch comes and cuddles across yeah. your fucking face. Yeah. It's like, yeah. it's all it fucking does. Go catch a rat. Yeah, for you real. Know what I'm saying? Do, be, so, be productive. Nah, like, I feel nah. like ultimately at the end of the day, bro, animals need, you know, animals have a place in the household. And I feel like cats have, like, that's their place in the household, bro, is to have them around to make sure that, like, vermin don't get, you know, get around. Yeah. Fucking snakes and rats and rodents whatever just, like you don't want that shit around your house bitch i'll tell you i'll tell you what i had a fucking place in the fucking household bro and i'll tell you what i was fucking chopping down this motherfucking Yo, bitch down i'll tell you what guys have, all right uh, so listen here uh, man before bullshit. before we got this spot johnny boy and i used to be roommates back in the day a few years back it was probably like what six years ago some shit yeah, yeah. seven years ago something like that but um yeah man I had this double garage, right? And there was this fucking bush. This fucking bush overgrew, you know what I'm saying, the garage. Yeah. And John couldn't get his car in and out of this fucking garage, right? So he This comes bush home. was huge, bro. Listen, bro, we used to work at a warehouse busting our fucking ass all day. So when we get home, I'm like, nigga, I'm tired. I'm going to go hit the shower. I'm going to smoke a blunt, bro. I'm going to relax. Bro, this man got home. <laughs> I'm going to say it and again. put his fucking- this bush- then he put it was huge, he bro. His, huge. He put his fucking Paul Bunyan pants on, bitch. Bro. And started he got the fucking chopping. And he's chopping and chopping and chopping, bro. I come out, bro, like, bro, I just I'm like, bro, there's no way this nigga's still out here. I come out like two hours later, bro. This nigga's sweaty as fuck. Bro, I'm chopping away, bro. I've been chopping for hours, bro. Don't and don't bro, bro let's not talk about the <laughs> let's not talk about the goddamn was. All right, I got walls up my fucking sleeves. I was wearing fucking goggles. I'm getting bit. Yo, meanwhile, this motherfucker sitting in the fucking house just chilling. He comes out. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I come out. I'm like, you still doing this Because shit? you know why he's not doing it? Because the bush is not covering his part of the fucking garage. It was party. It was only covering mine. So he's like, fuck I'm this like, guy. Hey, bro, I can get in and out just fine. Facts, but fuck John. Yeah, this bitch fucking chopped away for like two hours, bro, and the bush won. The that bush. nigga still couldn't get his car in or out of that motherfucker. <laughs> bitch, I'm just... I'm, <laughs> I couldn't get it out. My bitch was leaking. Yo, it was a lot of shit, bro. I couldn't even leave my car in the garage, bro. Because that bitch was leaking. So I did all that work for nothing, my nigga. I cleaned this fucking shitty ass garage. Oh. Bro, nah, bro, bro, this thing, one time, bro, we woke up and we thought somebody was trying to catch y'all boys slipping, man. <laughs> this smelled like straight gas and my brother got her ass, bro. <laughs> They put gas all around the house, and they're about to set us on fire. <laughs> we woke up. He woke me up like, I was oh. like, bro, this shit. I'm like, it smells 
bad, bro. I was like, it smells like gasoline. Nothing else. There's nothing else that smells like this. His bitch wakes up. He's like, what the fuck, bro? Bro, his car was fucking fucked. It was fucked, bro. It smelled like straight gas. Like, so we're talking about gasoline because it was leaking. My car was leaking. So I cut this fucking giant, massive bush. This avalanche of bush, bro. For no reason. For no, no reason. Because I can't park my car in the garage because now the house smells like a fucking oh. <laughs> gasoline NASCAR pit stop, bro. And I'm out here and I can't keep. So I did that for no reason, guys. So that was the whole point of the story where I lost the battle, bro. Yeah, bro. I got beat up by this bush. John fucking. <laughs> dead ass got fucking uppercutted. Left hook. Yeah, the bush fucked him up. Nigga had wasp fucking stings all over. His car was leaking gas. Yeah, it was. It was a fuck day yo, for my, my feet, boy. My feet are horrible, bro. <laughs> bro. I went through the goddamn fucking springs one day, bro. <sighs> and my feet looked like they went to war. Now, all right, guys. So if y'all ever seen the movie Lord of the Rings, and you remember when the hobbits lived on the little hillside and they were all running around barefoot? Yeah. That's his feet. The hobbit bare feet. Like, <laughs> it was bad. I was like, yo. Cliff, shit. Cliffhangers. Like, I was like, bro, you can tell you, you will not survive outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> Your feet are going to be the first thing to go. Bro, my feet. <laughs> My feet were fucked, bro. My feet were like purple and shit. Like, I was like, holy shit. <laughs> Yo, I can't stand the outdoors, bro. The outdoors be fucking me up, bro. You know, I love it. I love it and I hate it. It's a love-hate relationship. Yeah, of course, man. Because it's so beautiful, you know? It's but beautiful sometimes, until you want to go the fuck home. Sometimes beauty can really fuck you up. You know what yeah, I mean? Man. Sometimes it's yeah. a beautiful thing and sometimes it's a horrible thing. <laughs> beauty... Nah, beauty can really fuck you up. You know what I mean? But I'll tell you something that's beautiful to me, bro. Oh, you know what I'm saying? What Getting is out it? the shower, you know, you get ready to go somewhere and you fucking powder your sack. You powdered powder. your sack? Yeah. Bitch, you don't powder your sack? Bitch. You know you don't put baby powder on your motherfucking sack? Nah, bitch. I put deodorant, bro. <laughs> I yo, I don't like shaving, nah, bro. bro. Yo, yeah, y'all nah, shave. Guys, yo, yo, listen, guys I wonder if girls shave. Women oh, do. no, women shave. There's women. bitches out here that are way too thick to not shave. I've never heard a, a woman c complain about her shaving. They won't complain about it, but it fucking happens. <laughs> I can't it's just it. like they won't complain about their fucking heels. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But they'll fucking wear them. No, nah, I've, I've heard women complain about their heels, their feet. I right? mean, yeah, but for the most part, they'll suck it up. Nah. Like, oh, you know what I'm saying? You pain know, is beauty or whatever. Beauty nah, women pain. are strong, bro. Hey, I salute y'all because I'm not doing none of that shit. Like, I, bro, God knows what he's doing when he makes what he makes because fucking A. Women don't fart either. I've never heard a woman fart around me in person. This nigga really just said women don't fart. I hey, just, guys. I feel like they no, hold No, 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 no. Go down in the comments. They hold it. <laughs> Nah, y'all women. Nah. Hey, bro, I've been around some women that wouldn't give a motherfuck. Yeah. They're not busting their gut for you. Yeah, nah, y'all. They're gonna fucking let that shit rip. Nah, y'all women got a tank up in that bitch, bro. And that shit fucking. Y'all hold that gas in that bitch for at least 24 hours when no one's around. Nah, bro. Because I don't hear a goddamn thing. Bro, they let that shit lose. Sometimes, I, I don't know. Nah, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you ever come across the right one. They let that shit lose. Don't I mean, fart. I heard my mom and my grandma fart. I'll tell you that. Well, then women fart. Uh, <laughs> it's like women don't fart. <laughs> I don't fuck know, up, man. Dude. It's crazy, man. I've seen a lot of things in my life, bro. I've Let's seen talk about it. Let's I've get into I've it, seen, bro. I've seen some crazy shit. What's man? the craziest thing? Like, real talk, all jokes aside, what's the craziest thing you think you've ever seen? The craziest thing I've, I think I ever saw... Was I was walking I was walking out of school, bro, and it was middle school. I'll never forget this, bro. And I was walking across the street. It was just a normal day, and my grandmother's house is about maybe a block, maybe two. You know where my grandmother's house is yeah. from Heritage, you know? Yeah, it's just right there. Yeah, so it was, so it was a little block, whatever. And I'm walking across the street, and right before I cross the street, I see this guy like like step on it. Like grab that bitch. That bitch was like, nah. Nah, that bitch was like, ooh, like neutral bitch. Like, 
I was like, oh shit. And then next thing you know, this bitch, this motherfucker pops that motherfucker in gear. He pops it in gear. Oh my God. I'm like, in a school zone. In a school zone where there's kids walking around. And next thing you know, he's having a seizure or something. Oh. I see him and he steps on it. Boy, when he steps on it, all I see is his eyes roll the fuck back. And go. He runs right into a fucking house. Ooh. Right into a house. No, <laughs> yeah. no window. No nothing. Just the whole front end of the house. And the car is still going, trying to keep going into the house. And luckily, you know, it stopped because it was a brick fucking house. And <laughs> they got an ambulance. Luckily, somebody's house got fucked. You know, there were kids in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but now, nah, but listen, that yeah. ain't funny. Number one, that's sad that somebody <laughs> had a fucking seizure. Yeah, but that's with their that's, fucking kids in the car. That's crazy. But, nah, bro, that that is crazy. That's bro. yeah, yeah. Nah, crazy, craziest shit I ever saw, bro. It was one time, bro. We were on the way to Ocala, and it was kind of like. It wasn't raining, you know, but it had just rained. The roads were slick and shit like oh, that. Oh, shit. I remember and I remember this. there was this fucking van, and um, it was going, like, pretty fucking quick. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of like tailgating moms and shit. Moms, like, yo, they could go around. So they fucking sped around. It was a van, like a full family. They sped around. Boom. Fucking speeding, bro. Like, hauling ass. And we're just riding, nigga, normal. And, like, two minutes down the road, bro, I swear to God. You see the fucking van with the wheels in the air and the whole family standing outside that motherfucking car. <laughs> what the fuck? I God, and my, I'll never forget it. My mom was like, see, that's why when somebody's driving like a fucking ass, you just let them go. You let them go. Bro, they fucking flipped the they, van. They, they bitch. fucking flew, bitch. Bro, they flew on one like this and landed right that on That happened top. to my aunt, bro. That's crazy. She flipped the fucking truck like seven times. She was pissed though. You Bro. know why? Because it wasn't her truck. It was Theo's. <laughs> <laughs> Theo! <laughs> Theo, I love you, bro. Yeah, but that's not, that story, yo, that truck, yeah, Theo oh, Edwards. Oh damn, Edwards! Shout out to Theo. Edwards, nah, bro. bro. But it was a nice truck. It was damn. nice. It was like a S, like a Suzuki, but it was like the four door trucks. Yeah, the nice joints. You know what I'm saying? And that shit was smooth. He had the damn, system in it. He, he let it go to work. Bro. That's why you don't, yo, you don't lend your wife or your fucking car. Your wife that's or like, your sister. That's what I'm saying. Your sister, your <laughs> wife, your fucking dog. Your car, your fucking nuts. None of that, bro. You don't lend none of that. Your sister, your cousin, your mom. Don't let them do it. I'll tell you that. <laughs> nah, bro. You don't lend your car out. To bro. nobody. It don't even matter if it's a I fucking. I wouldn't give a fuck. I want to live. If I can't give you a ride, you can't use my shit. I had some guy ask me to fucking give him give him a fucking ride. You know what I told him? I said no. You know why? Because I don't know you, bro. Nah, facts. And then, and, like and I, not just that. You're not obligated to give anybody a fucking ride. How'd you get here? I've been I've been asked that, and that's exactly what I what I told him. They were like, "Oh, bro, can you give me a?" Ride? And it's not to be a dick, but it's like, bro, like I'm not trying to make myself responsible for somebody else and go out of my way and. I don't know what you have on you. You know you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of factors that go into letting somebody ride in your fucking car. Let's get into that a little bit. Like, somebody just asks you for a ride. You go, you pull up to a party. Hey, bro, you can give me a ride over here. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Y'all get pulled over on the way to that nigga's house. That nigga has a fucking bag full of fucking pills he never told you about. He drops that shit in your fucking car. Now the cops tell you how to get out, search your shit. You're the owner of the car. Whose pills are these? I don't fucking know. Oh, yeah, everybody doesn't fucking know. But you really don't fucking know. Because you're fucking wannabe homeboy over here. And fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I just, I've seen too much, bro. I've heard too much. I'm not trying to put myself in no predicament, bro. How did you get here? That's how you could get home. Yep. You I, got to the party somehow. I just, yeah. Why are you, you going to a party? Like, I, I, exactly. Yeah, it's bro, like, if you don't have a car, you shouldn't be at this party partying about nothing. Bro, you shouldn't be fucking talking to me. Nah, facts. Like for real, you should be going. You should be facts, talking to somebody be, else getting nigga, a job. You should be fuck, yeah, talking should, to a fucking job applicant. Yeah, like, for real. Like that's that's crazy to me. But hey, I don't know what the fuck is going on with people's priorities nowadays. But you know, what I mean, you kind of just you just got to keep going, man, and just worry about you. Yeah, facts, man. That's the thing. You can bro, help people. Like, you could try, but you know, 
Yeah, I try to focus on my immediate family, you know. Like, I try to focus on my moms and my sister. and That's pretty much about it, like, for the most part. Like, yeah. Because ultimately, bro, like, you can't worry about the whole world. Yeah. You know, you, you, you start taking care of the world by starting to take care of your household. Too much love will get you killed. Yeah, no, facts. Too much love will get you killed and too much trust will get you killed. Like, unfortunately, bro. Yeah. And that, it's fucked up to say that, bro, but it's true, man. It's fucking true. Like, for example, bro, I, I'm pretty sure we've talked about it on this podcast before, but the movie Scarface, man, it, it touches on exactly that. Mm -hmm. Betrayal. It's like, bro, like, like, that's why I never idolized that character, Scarface. Al Pacino, like, the, Al Pacino did a great job playing him. Great actor. A1. Salute. Bravo. But the character himself, like, people wanted to be Scar like Scarface, like the character. It's like, why would you want to be like a nigga that betrayed the person that put him on? Yeah. Killed him. Fucked his wife. After he killed him. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like. Like, why would you even, like, that's a piece of shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he stole it. And that's what got him killed. He showed too much love and too much loyalty to the wrong motherfucker. Sad as it is. I've never understood that movie, bro. I don't get that character. Yeah, there's a couple movies like that, too, man. Uh, fuck. Uh, I forgot the movie, man. But there's a lot of, like, anything that has to do with, like, like just hustling in the streets, you know. It Bro, always ends, most like, of always these ends guys, like that. Yeah, or they snitch, man. Because yeah. another guy they idolize, Frank Lucas. Frank Lucas snitch, man. Yeah, he got thirty-two people indicted. Yep, including family members. Yeah, think about that. Yeah, yeah, cousin. Yeah, come on, cousin. Come work for me real quick. Mm -hmm. And then when shit hits the fan, like, oh, it was him. It was him, not me. Come on, bro. Like you just get listen, man. It all sounds good until it's not good. <laughs> like real nah, shit. for real it's all good and so the judge says 102 years facts then what facts but i couldn't even fucking imagine bro knock on wood man i couldn't even fucking imagine you never know man and like the only way i'd be able to do something like that like peacefully is if something happened to like a family member of mine and i like avenged it or something like something like that i'm like you know i could i could sleep at night knowing that i killed this molester that molested a family member you know, something like that is like, <coughs> it's different. But I'm not going to do no honey years for no fucking drugs. <coughs> like, no, that's I'm not stupid. doing that. <coughs> that's stupid. No, that's stupid. Fucking <coughs> waste of time. Yeah, man, it's a waste of time and it's a waste of talent, bro. And it's sad to say, man. You know, I knew, I knew and I know a lot of people that that's exactly what they are, you know, until they figure out that they're not a waste of talent. Like, like, too many people have skills out here, man, and they have, you know, they have talents, and they have they have certain things that they could utilize and that this, this world needs, and that <clears throat> they could give this world a gift, but they want to, you know, sit here, do drugs, and, you know, like, just certain shit, man, and it's sad, bro. It's fucking sad, like. Like if any if any of y'all out there have family members that struggle with addictions and drugs and shit like that, man, I feel for y'all, bro, because it's sad, man. A lot of the times those people are very talented. They're very intelligent. Yeah. And that's what makes you question, why the fuck would you even do this? You're so smart, bro. You're smart. Yeah. But you're sitting here fucking killing yourself slowly with these pills or this codeine <laughs> or whatever the fuck it is that you're you're yep. doing. Yeah, you know? you're talking about addiction. It could be anything. It yeah, be drugs. It we could all be have about, our vice, man. Yeah. We're sitting here smoking, but yeah, we're talking about maybe stealing. And there's vices. Stealing, yeah, shit. stealing shit, bro. You know I've, I've known a couple kleptos. Yeah, that's a real thing. Like people that really can't help. What do you call them? them? Kleptomaniacs. They can't help that's themselves. What, that's, that's what that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah. Like they can't help themselves from Damn. stealing. Damn. Yeah, I know some people like that. Yeah, <clears> bro. Like it's. Yeah. You know, some people are diagnosed with it for real, like it's something they really can't help. Yeah. And then there's other people that they're just pieces of shits and they like to steal and they're yes. opportunists. Yeah. Because there's a difference. There's yeah. people that are opportunists and they watch. And when they see the opportunity, they'll fucking try to do it. But besides that, they won't steal. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. But there's people that really can't help themselves and they ha like anywhere they go, anywhere they go, they'll go to their friend's house, they'll go to the store, anywhere. <clears throat> they'll pull up and they'll, even if it's something like this, a lighter, 
anything. It could be the smallest thing, but they have to take something. Like, they have to steal something. Just to feel good. Yeah, just to like, like you know, fulfill that that like void, I guess, in their mind. I don't fucking know, bro, no, but it's weird. It. Like it, there's a lot of psych psychological shit out mental there. Mental health. You know yeah, mental health. Period. You know, and shout out to mental health, man. Yeah, we need more. We need more mental health awareness, man. Like, yeah, we need more spotlight for on real, that. guys. If Damn. you're ever, if you're ever feeling down, you know, if you're ever feeling like it's too much, like you, you know, like shit just gets to be too much, man. There's help, and there's people out here you could talk to, even if it's just us. Even if y'all hit us, like, like dead ass, man. I'm not even me personally. I'm not the type of person I'm on. I'm on Instagram or any any type of social media like that but if you guys ever hit us like yo man i'm feeling down i, I, I feel i don't feel like nah, being bro. here no more bro we will reply like real shit we will reply we will talk it's not even that even if you just need somebody to talk to man like it's, if it's not even that serious still hit us up bro yeah like, we still gonna reply like at the end of the day bro like we'll be there we just want to let y'all know we're there you know what i'm saying we're here with y'all you know we're not immune to shit we go through shit ourselves our families go through shit you know, everybody goes through shit, and, you know, a lot of people choose to deal with the shit on their own, and that's not that's not a healthy, no, that's not a healthy way to do it, man. Yeah. There's people out here going through the same shit you're going through that have been through the same shit you're going through, and that can help you through it, man. Yep. You know, so, yeah, at the end of the day, always remember that. We love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Facts. We've been back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, thumbs up, like that shit. Episode you know 68. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every time that we drop an episode. And if you're fucking with us, go down in the description and go ahead and get yourself some merch, man. We appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. Much love. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Peace and love. Catch you on the next one. Peace.